Let's return to our bag of marbles that we've been using. We're looking at a bag of marbles that has 16 white marbles, 20 black marbles, and one red marble. This for a total of 37 marbles in our list, or in our bag. Now this time, instead of just picking one marble from the bag, what we're going to do is we're going to pick two marbles with replacement. Now, what does that mean? That means I'm going to pick a marble from the bag. I'm gonna figure out what it is. Then I'm gonna put it back into the bag. So I have all of the marbles in the bag again, and then I'm going to pick again. And I'm going to write what my first pick is and what my second pick is. Let's consider a situation here. Let's suppose that I want to pick two white marbles, so both white marbles. In this case, what I want to do is I'm going to pick a white marble. I'm gonna put that marble back and then I wanna pick a white marble again. When I go to pick a white marble, there's 16 out of the 37 marbles that are white. So that's my probability for my first pick. Now I'm gonna put that marble back in. Now I have 37 marbles in the bag, 16 of which are white because I put my white marble back in the bag. And so for my second pick, I have a 16 out of 37 possibility or probability of that happening. Notice that I want both of these to be white marbles. If I wanna think of it this way, I want to pick white first and pick white second. I need both of these things to apply. So thinking of this as both or and, I need them both to happen. When we wanna find both things happening at the same time, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be multiplying those probabilities together. So when we see the word or, we usually think about adding those possibilities together. If we need both of the things to happen, then I'm using the word and, and and is going to indicate that we wanna be multiplying. I need this white to happen and this white to happen. If I multiply our 16 over 37 times 16 over 37, I end up getting 0.187 or an 18.7% chance of picking both white marbles. Let's suppose that I want to pick a white marble on my first pick, then pick a black marble. I need both the white marble and the black marble to happen. So you can think of this as picking a white marble putting it back, and then picking a black marble. Because I need both things to happen at the same time, I'm gonna multiply those probabilities together. For my first pick, when I pick my white marble, there's a 16 out of 37 chance of getting that white marble. I'm gonna put it back in the bag. I still have 37 marbles in the bag. This time I wanna pick a black marble, and there's 20 of those. So my calculation is gonna be 16 over 37 times 20 over 37, which gives me 0.2337 or a 23.37% chance of this occurring. Now, if instead of picking a white marble and then a black marble, let's suppose instead that I want to pick and end up with a white marble and a black marble as my draws. If I just wanna end up with a white and a black marble, 
If there's no order implied, then there's two ways that this could happen. I could pick white, then black, or I could pick black. and then white. So in this case, I have my ordered values. I need both the white and black to happen, or I need both the black and the white to happen in that order. When I see the word or, remember or is an indication, or and is an indication of multiplying, but or is more a multiplication here of, or or is an indication that we want to add those different probabilities together. So what we're gonna have here is my probability of white then black or my probability of black then white. If I'm picking white and then black, I have a 20 or 16 out of 37 chance of picking white. And then I also need to pick a black as my second one, which is 20 out of 37. If I want my probability of picking the black first, it's 20 over 37 times by six, picking a white next is 16 over 37 because I put the marble back in the bag. Because this is or, I need the probability that this could happen and the probability so the or gives me this add here, probability of white than black, add probability of black than white. Together, that's gonna to be the total probability of ending up with a black and a white marble um, having been chosen from the bag. So if I do this multiplication here, I get 0.2337. If I do this multiplication here, I also end up getting 0.2337. So the total probability is 0.4674 which is 46.74%. So as we're looking at these probabilities, right, we're dealing with fractions to get our probabilities. If we see that word and, or we need both of those things to happen in order, we multiply them together. If we have an or situation where we could either have this case or this case, and they both will make my thing work, then I want to add those different probabilities together. So we can actually kind of end up with combinations where we end up having to do both in a single problem. In this case, what we were looking at is we were looking at a probability of picking marbles with replacement, where we pick the bag or pick the marble, put it back in the bag, and then pick the marble again. In our next video, what we're going to look at is what would it mean if we wanted to pick marbles without replacement and how would that affect the probability? Stay tuned.